Hello, my name is Eric Watercuddy. I am the web instructional designer at Peninsula College and today I'm going to show you a really fun tool uh, that really can fit into your classroom or just simply if you want to have fun exploring our world a little bit more through this free tool it's called Google Earth. Hopefully a lot of you have already uh, played with this tool. If you haven't you're in for a real treat because the neatest thing about this from the start is that it's free. Okay so I'm gonna first kinda go through how to set this up, what you need to set it up, um, how to view content using Google Earth, and how to create some basic maps using this tool. So on your screen right now I've, I'm on the uh, Google Earth web page which is just earth.google.com so just enter that into your favorite browser and uh, that'll take you to this web page here where on the left you can see there's a bunch of different sections of the site uh, the help is really useful for you know teaching yourself how to do uh, all the things that are gonna be beyond the scope of this brief presentation first off uh, the most prominent thing is right here the free download uh, so you're gonna wanna set that up on your machine if you have any issues or questions about what software or hardware you need uh, to run Google Earth it'll pretty much install and run on any computer the basic things you're gonna need are an internet connection in order to download the tool and uh, actually interact with the maps and then uh, a medium to basically a mid-range video card so if you have a really old computer Google Earth will basically prompt you to run in software rendering mode which is much slower but it'll still work uh, ideally you want a medium uh, kind of medium grade video card or above the better your video card the richer the experience so I've just got a basic laptop that I'm making this recording on so this is a pretty much standard experience that you're gonna see in this video okay so download the tool install it I've uh, saved us some time by go going ahead and installing that myself um, it'll create a little shortcut on your desktop if you want and so when you fire the tool up you get this beautiful view of our planet earth so first I'm gonna just kind of uh, poke around the tool here you've got this kind of left hand side where you can view the layers that are available by default and we'll get into more of the details there and then you have this section called places uh, mostly here my places which is your kind of bin of maps and uh, data that you're creating and then you can do fly to where you sort of as as in the example you can just enter things and and go to them or find businesses or get directions any of these can be sort of hidden or displayed by just kind of clicking these little arrows in the left hand corner so then we have a, the typical uh, menu up here on the top where you can save and, and do the basics and then these are more of the kind of uh, editing tools and we'll get into those okay so there's two modes of operation in Google Earth. There's viewing mode, which is just to kind of view things and, and explore the world of content that's out there that people are making available. And then also creating your own content or your own maps. So first we're going to look at viewing content. Uh, to get a quick view of how this works, I've, I've installed, um, basically copied down a uh, a map called sightseeing that's going to give us a really neat um, kind of whirlwind tour of some of the major sites on the planet Earth. So if I select this sightseeing uh, map that I've I've downloaded, I can then click this play button here, and it'll actually take me on a tour. You see by expanding, we'll see all the sites that we're going to visit. And I didn't create this; I just downloaded it so while it's playing I'll explain how that works so here we go so just like word documents or any other program uh, Google Earth has its own file type so these files are called dot KMZ files so if I created my own map I might save it as Eric's map dot KMZ 
So when you're out there on the web looking for Google Earth Maps, you'll find that uh, when you download these uh, documents, essentially, or maps, they're .kmz files. Okay, so this sightseeing tour was just a KMZ file that I downloaded. Now if that's a little too confusing and, and doesn't seem like a good place to start for you, fear not. You don't have to download anything to explore the layers that are available just by default when you download and install the tool. So I'm going to suspend our little tour of the world uh, and kind of hide this and we'll explore a little bit of uh, some of these layers. Now the basic functions for viewing maps left click, left double click is to zoom in, right double click is to zoom out and you can always use the control here, the slider lets you zoom in and zoom out and then you've got this sort of rotation tool which this N signifies the North Pole uh, so you can kind of rotate the globe using that Whoa or you can uh, kind of press the arrows here to so I'm gonna kinda spin the globe here rotate us back and then zoom in zoom out okay so that's the basics now down here on our layers these are again available out of the box so once you install the tool you'll be able to interact with these